Hello everybody, Clovis Game back with another episode of my take on things, and this time around we'll be doing my take on Sony and them not wanting to do crossplay with the other consoles. If you do like, please leave one and subscribe. And with that said, let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, you may be asking, what is crossplay? Crossplay is the platform that I really hope we move closer and closer to uh, in, for every multi-platform game uh, near, you know, in the near future. But cross-platform allows you to play with other people on different consoles, no matter what console you have. So, for example, I have a PS4, friend has an Xbox One, he gets GTA 5, and it's cross-play compatible then I can buy GTA 5 and just play it with them from my PS4. That's what crossplay is. But, uh, you know, I want to give you guys my take on that while giving you guys my take on Sony's, you know, attitude and them not wanting to do it. Okay, my take on crossplay in the first place is I think it's a fantastic, you know, start to... A new type of gaming era. I mean, call it an era. I don't know what else to call it, but I mean, call it an era. But it's going to be a new type of gaming era where it doesn't matter what console you get. You can get Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, PS4, not PC. I don't think PC's in the talks. I think it's just consoles. And I think it should stay that way because PC would have such an advantage you know, oh, we can move faster with the mouse and yada yada. But it should just stick with the consoles. But, you know, I want to move closer and closer to that. To where, like, it won't matter what uh, console you buy Call of Duty on. You can play with your friends on whatever console they're on. And maybe someday all the devs will come together. And then just put forth the best work of their careers and make... The ultimate console that can play each and every game. That's a probably a long ways off and probably will happen when I die. But I'm just saying. But that'd be awesome if I was able to buy GTA 5. I already have GTA 5 but just buy it. And then say call, call up my friend by hey dude do you have GTA 5 for the Xbox One? It's like yeah man but we can play it. I'm like no man we can because crossplay blah blah blah. But yeah. That's how I feel about crossplay. I feel that if we do get to that point someday to where we can play each and every multiplayer game that has multiplayer, not single player, just, you know, multiplayer, with anyone and everyone on any console besides PC. I know PC is not a console, but, you know, I'm just saying. That'd be amazing, and each company would make so much money. And the reason they would make so much money is because the fans and the people would not be buying the console, the company's console, because of the exclusives. It'd be because of multiple reasons. So, for Sony in this case, what would it, you know, what would it feel like to make more money than you have made right now? And switch that uh, fans' mindset over and entice them more to make them think, oh, well, not only can you buy this console and play all the hit exclusives that we have, but you can also buy it, buy whatever games you wanted that have multiplayer, and play it with your friends on the Xbox One or Nintendo Switch. How does that feel? He's like, wow, I can do that? Fuck yeah, Sony. And then he buys it. Or, you know, same with the Xbox. Or Nintendo. Whatever the case may be. That will entice fans more to buy the console to play games on. And I I would just do it right now, Sony. But it looks like you're having a little fork in the road and a little shitty attitude. You know, being a brat and everything. And I have evidence to back that up. So... I found this from an interview uh, earlier this week, I believe. But um, the interviewer asked uh, Sony, uh, 
you know, they, they, or they just brought it up. Oh, well, you know, uh, some developers are moving towards, uh, supporting crossplay between, uh, you know, Xbox One and Nintendo Switch, and, you know, they're trying to get that with, uh, some games, I forget which games, but he just said they're moving towards that with some games, but not Sony. And, uh, Sony is blocking, is the one blocking its users from playing with the people on other systems. And in response to that, uh, to the news that Rocket, Rocket League would also not support crossplay with PlayStation systems, your gamer questioned Sony PlayStation sales and marketing boss Jim Ryan on the matter. He defended the decision to not support crossplay with other game consoles saying that they have a responsibility to their stakeholders and install base. First though, they aren't opposed to the idea of cross-platform play. It's certainly not a profound idea, but, you know, they just don't want to do it. Okay, well, my question for Sony is, um, you know, you say that, uh, you know, they have a responsibility to their stakeholders and install base. Well, your install base, stakeholders, and fans, not fanboys, fans, want this to happen. They want to be able to buy your console, play the exclusives, and not having, not having, or not have the worry to, you know, not have the worry of, oh, I'm going to have to spend another $400 to play with my friends. But, you know, they just want you to do this as quick as possible. And Sony is just opting out of it each and every chance that they ask them to. But they still say it's not, you know, it's it's a valuable thing. But if it's valuable, why don't you just do it? There's It wouldn't be a big deal if it was Rocket League or anything because people would still buy your console based on the exclusives. And they'd buy Xbox based on the exclusives and same with the Nintendo Switch. But just imagine it. You know, Sony, you'd make so much more money than you are making now. And sell way more PlayStation 4s in my opinion. Because your exclusives would pull more people in as well. My opinion. Because Xbox is having this whole mess right now. It's like, oh well you can get it on Xbox and PC. Or Xbox for just a year and then wait a while and then get it on PS4 or whatever. And, you know, they're having that problem. And Nintendo, you know, they have great exclusives, but it's a lot of money for the Nintendo Switch. To whereas Sony, you pay 450 350 whatever the price may be for a PS4. You can hook up uh, external hard drives to it. Uh, the exclusives that you're going to get are only on PlayStation. So Uncharted, Last of Us, Ratchet and Clank, Crash Bandicoot. But the exclusive content will come early to the PlayStation fans and be holders of a PlayStation. That's the only thing that's delayed on the other consoles. It's not like a mess with Xbox and or just Xbox, you know, but, you know, it would just entice people to buy your console, Sony, uh, buy your exclusives if they want to, based on their choice, and also just make them want to buy it, knowing that they won't have the worry of spending hundreds of dollars on a new console. So, basic lesson from this is, Sony, need to get your head out of your ass and turn your brain on and think. Think a little. You just have to think a little how much money this will make you. And do it. Just go through it. Go through with it. You may say in the interview, it's like, oh yeah, we don't look at crossplay as a bad thing. But you're pushing it off. If you don't look at it as a bad thing, just turn it on for some games. You know, just, just a couple in the beginning. Maybe Rocket League, 
a Call of Duty Battlefield. Um, no, Killing Floor is not on Xbox One, but Titanfall, you know, just some games in the beginning, and then in the future you can choose, or just go all in on crossplay with everything. That's my take on it, and I hope Sony falls through with it, because, you know, I feel, well, I mean, actually, my friends are getting PS4, so it won't matter, but, you know, all my other friends, they have an Xbox, so I'm gonna have to get an Xbox if this doesn't fall through. Just saying. That's my take on this, guys, and if you guys enjoy or agree with me on some of my points, please leave your comments down below, even if you don't agree with me, leave them down below, and, uh, yeah. I'd love to talk to you about this stuff down in the comments. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for another episode of my take on things. If you guys did enjoy you want to see more, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat. And if you want to see the rest of the series, please click the link down below or the annotation on the screen at the end of the video. And as always, have a nice day. I'll see you all in the next one.